When I first saw the Bel Air trailer, a game will. Look at you. Look at you. I was on the floor. Duh. For 20 years, I had been trying to figure out how to make the way back into the world. The only reason why you're not in jail is because Uncle Phil called in a favor. But the idea of shifting from sitcom to drama while still staying in the same lane of the ideas and the concepts. So easy. You throw this? Who's, who's this dude? This dude's a genius. Get him here immediately. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Morgan Cooper, executive producer and pilot director of Bel Air. I was driving down 71 in Kansas City. The idea hit me. I went to a coffee shop and wrote an outline for what I wanted to do, and we dropped it on YouTube. I met with Westbrook less than 48 hours from when we dropped it. He came down to the set of Bad Boys 3. First time that I heard something, I was like, yo, that's, that's an idea that is brilliant. Morgan did a ridiculous trailer for Bel Air. We just talked about the potential of this show and what I saw is that he got it. He just expressed his excitement about the idea and he's like, yo, what do you want to do with it? And I told him what I want to do with it. He's like, all right, bet. We have just officially closed the deal with Peacock with an unprecedented two season order from a pitch. Right away, it was just, the, the energy was very, very real. I was born and raised in Kansas City. Growing up in the Midwest, you didn't see wealth and opulence of Bel Air. You just didn't see those things every single day. You didn't see those things at all. He was a kid that grew up on the ideas of what Will's experience was. The Fresh Prince was always a part of our lives and you know, seeing Will, seeing these iconic characters tell these stories at a time where you, you didn't really see like blackness portrayed in that way. Television is so collaborative that like there are a lot of different opinions when it came to selecting our writer's room, you know, selecting the partners involved in bringing this vision to life. The day I came across the trailer, we were working on another show and it just looked like a great idea that we wished we had thought of, but I had no expectation that we would be getting on that show. And then you sort of heard news about it from afar. I was like, oh, they're doing that. Okay, well, that sounds good. And then our agent called us and said they would like you to you know, consider joining the show. He was like, oh, this, is, this just became very real, very quick. It was drinking from a fire hose, I would say. It was a very quick talk with Morgan and Malcolm, a very quick talk with executives at Westbrook, and the next thing I knew, we were on the show. The thing I've learned the most, and if you, I can go back and, and talk to the 18-year-old version of myself in line buying my first camera, is just to uh, to really believe in yourself and step into the discomfort. 